Hello everyone and welcome to the EA Sports Studio. I'm James Brown. The Denver Broncos won their second Super Bowl in a row in 1998 and a lot of people are wondering if they can do it a third time. The next 17 weeks will tell the story. Now let's go to John Madden and Pat Summerall for this very first game of the 1999 season. Aloha and welcome to Honolulu and the Pro Bowl. Now today's game may just be for fun, but it's a big honor for the players and a great opportunity to see them all together. Let's go out to John Madden, Pat Summerall in sunny Hawaii. Hello everyone, I'm James Brown. Well, the Super Bowl may be over, but there's still one more game to play. The best players in football have gathered in Honolulu, Hawaii for the Pro Bowl. This year we sent John and Pat out to call the game. John, tell us how you got the Madden Cruiser to Hawaii this year. Hello and happy Thanksgiving from the EA Sports Studio. I'm James Brown. Last March, the NFL owners considered moving the Thanksgiving Day games to other cities, but tradition won out, and so Dallas and Detroit are still our hosts today. Pat and John and the turkey legs are all ready, so let's go on out to the stadium. Happy Thanksgiving from the EA Sports Studios. The Thanksgiving Day football tradition continues unchanged as it has every year since 1934. Let's get the game underway with Pat Summerall and John Madden. Hello everyone, I'm James Brown. It's wild card weekend of the NFL playoffs and you know it won't end without a surprise or two. Now let's go out to Pat and John for today's exciting game. Hello and welcome to the EA Sports Studios. We've had a great season of football and the second season begins this weekend as the wild card games get underway. Let's start the fun with Pat Summerall and John Madden. Hello and welcome to Atlanta, Georgia on Super Bowl Sunday, the most exciting day in professional sports. Yours truly James Brown here and you can feel the tension in the air. The fans are coming into the stadium, the players are warming up and three hours from now, a new world champion will be crowned. Let's get the game underway with John Madden and Pat Summerall. Thank you, JB. John, last year, some of the teams were complaining that by always playing at home on Thanksgiving, Dallas and Detroit have an unfair advantage. You think that's true? Uh, no, because it's a tradition. I think this uh, Thanksgiving Day isn't about advantages. It's about tradition. And... Uh, you know, the game has always been in Detroit, and the game has always been in Dallas. When no one else wanted the game, these two teams wanted it, and they made it a tradition. And, uh, you know, that's bigger than, you know, advantages, unfair advantages, or whatever. It's just a fun thing, and it kind of all goes together. You know, Turkey, football, Thanksgiving, Detroit, Dallas, uh, it doesn't get a heck of a lot better than that. Well, thank you, JB. Happy Thanksgiving. John, tell us how the turkey leg tradition got started. Well, remember we had a, a turkey in the booth and it was going to be our turkey dinner after the game and, or maybe the turkey was in the booth, maybe we were going to you know, grab something off it during the game, which we did. And then we started talking about you know, who was the MVP and who's the best player and you know, the special Thanksgiving and turkey and how it all goes together. And we said maybe we just ought to have an award, like the MVP. Then if you're going to have an MVP and it's on Thanksgiving Day, we ought to give him something. So we had the turkey right there. So let's give the MVP a leg off the turkey, and we did it. That's, that's how it all started. Well, thank you, JB. John, the conference championship game this year looks like a real slugfest again. Yeah, because you have the two best teams in the conference, so, you know, that's going to make it a slugfest. And then to think what they're playing for. I mean, every team starts out at the beginning of the year to go to the Super Bowl. Now, the team that wins this game is going to play in the Super Bowl. The team that loses, their season's over. So I'll tell you that, that'll make for a slugfest. Well, thank you, JB. You know, John, sometimes it seems like the crowd is more pumped up at the conference championship game than they are at the Super Bowl. Yeah, because the real fans are at the conference championship game. I mean, the, you know, this is, a, this is a home game. And so you have the hometown fans, you have the fans that have been there every week. Now, when you get to the Super Bowl, you have what you call a smorgasbord of fans. I mean, fans come from all over. You have corporate, you have bank, you know, I mean, you have the whole thing, and you don't have as many real fans of the teams as you do in the conference championship. 
Thank you, JB and John. Our visiting team looks pretty pumped up after their wild card win last week. You know, I've always felt that, you know, success breeds success. And that when you win, then you know that you can win. And it also brings confidence. And you can just see that this team from last week's win has a heck of a lot of confidence. Now they, you know, they're playing on the road and that's going to be tough. But sometimes, you know, playing that extra game can be a plus because it keeps you sharp and you come into this one confident. Thank you, JB. And John, that first round bye gives the home team a definite advantage. As the league expands, do you think they'll ever get rid of it? No, I don't think they'll ever get rid of that because, uh, you know, expansion really doesn't have anything to do with it. I mean, they're going to put so many teams in the playoffs and they have to have the wild card. And, and the thing about the, the bye, that first round bye, is the teams aren't given the bye. The teams earn the bye by having the best record. And I kind of like that because it adds to the regular season. And, you know, in some sports, regular season doesn't mean much. But in this league, it does. Because if you have the best record during the regular season, then you get a bye. And that is an advantage. But it's an advantage that you earned by being the best team in the regular season. Thank you, JB. And, John, these guys have made it to the playoffs. And they've got to be excited about that. Yeah, and, you know, this is really the third stage. I mean, you have your preseason, and, you know, and you get ready for your season. Then you have your regular season to see who gets in these playoffs. And then the playoffs is the third season. And the big thing about the playoffs, I think, that makes everything so excited is the finality of it, that the winners go on and keep playing, the losers go home, and their season's over. Thank you, JB. John, they call the playoffs the second season because you start with a clean slate. Do you think that affects a team's attitude? Yeah, I think so, because it's the finality of it. I mean, you know that if you don't win, you don't get to play anymore. And I think that uh, teams play a little more cautiously. I think uh, coaches are a little more conservative. And officials don't call as many penalties, if you notice that. Again, because it means so much. I mean, there's no time where you can say, well, if we don't do well today, we'll get them next week. If you don't do well today, there is no next week. Well, thank you, JB. And John, it's nice to be starting another NFL season with you. It's hard to believe that we've been broadcasting together now for 19 years. Yeah, 19 great years and 19 years that have been a heck of a lot of fun. And you know, there's a lot of exciting parts of the season, and one of the most exciting is when it begins because we start here, we don't know who's going to be the best teams, we don't know who's going to be in the playoffs, who's going to be in a championship, who's going to be in the Super Bowl, but it all starts right here now. Thanks, J.B. John. It's the start of another great NFL season for us, and I know you always look forward to this day. Yeah, because it's the start of the unknown. You know, we go through the draft and you go through the preseason and everyone has their picks and they say, you know, who they think is going to win, who's going to be the best team, who's going to look good. Uh, none of the games up until now have counted, but today they start to count and you can't beat that. Thank you, JB and John. It's great to be broadcasting another Super Bowl with you. You can sure feel the excitement in this place. Yeah, because it's, it's the championship. You know, I think any time that you're playing for the championship of the world, uh, it doesn't get any bigger than that. And this is what it's all about. And it's not about being here. It's not about being in the Super Bowl. It's not about getting to the Super Bowl. It's about winning the Super Bowl. Because after this game, we're going to have one world champion, one Super Bowl champion, and the other team, they're just going to be thrown back in a heap and forgotten. Well, thank you, JB. John, the Super Bowl is turning into a bigger and bigger event every year. Do you think that's a distraction to the teams, or do they just ignore all the attention they get? Well, it, it shouldn't be a distraction because when they get to the Super Bowl, they know what they're getting into. And I just think they ought to enjoy it. I mean, it does get bigger and bigger, but it's a championship. It's going to be the biggest time in their life. And I think they ought to treat it that way, and I think they ought to act that way, and I think they ought to enjoy it because 20, 30, 40 years from now, they're going to be talking to their kids and telling them, remember back when I played in the Super Bowl and we won? It was the greatest time of my life. Well, thank you, JB. And John, as a coach, 
Is the preparation before the Super Bowl any different from what you do for any other game? Well, you know, you try not to. I mean, every coach says that you try and keep it the same, but you know that the stakes are larger. And I've always had the feeling that, that you can't do any more than you did. I mean, if you do every week, if you do the most you can and you prepare the best you can and you have all your best stuff, how can you get any better than that? And I always say when someone says, well, it's a Super Bowl, we're going to step up. You say, well, where were you last week? You know, you had to you know, be your best for the conference championship game. You had to be the best for the playoff. You had to be the best in the regular season. And, and I think every coach tries to keep it the same and uh, just use your best stuff. Well, thank you, JB. John, the Pro Bowl is always a lot of fun. But how do you coach a bunch of guys who've never played together as a team before? Well, you just... First of all, you want to have a lot of fun, and you want them to have fun and enjoy it. And the best thing that you have is you have all the great players in the game. So they know how to play, and they all have a great deal of pride, and they want to do well. The biggest problem you have is special teams, because none of these guys play special teams on their team, and you only get one special teams guy. So you have a lot of guys running down under kicks and punts that haven't done it since they've been in high school. So uh, I've always thought you go over there, it's an honor to be there, uh, you're supposed to have fun, have fun, uh, pride will take over for the players, and then you just cross your fingers on special teams. Well, thank you, JB, and tell us, John, how did you modify the Madden Cruiser for your trip across the Pacific this year? Well, I didn't modify the Cruiser. What I did is uh, I got a, a tugboat to go with the, the, with the cruiser. So the tugboat was underneath the Golden Gate Bridge. So we were going over the Golden Gate Bridge and we took a left. And because that's, if you go over the Golden Gate Bridge and you look left, that's where Hawaii is. So we just took a left and we went and we went down under and then we came back up and then we just got flat and then we hooked to the tugboat. We got this big old tugboat that's like a big old offensive tackle. And so the tugboat, just started churning, and and took us uh, right, and we just started, you know, going left, and just took us right there. And the next thing uh, we knew, we were pulling into the uh, harbor there. I think I'll go in the tugboat. <laughs> knock knock, who's there? The cyber athletes. Because you're in the house, the house of EA Sports 2000. Home of the look at us now, cyber athletes. The planet's only truly perfect athletes. Uh-oh, forget to bring your game? Fine, we'll leave your ego on the doorstep, Mark. Return to sender. Because we're back with pupil popping moves and cranium thumping hits. Every growling foot an international tinder box. Demolish an asphalt with heavily decal wrecking balls. And starring in 24-hour fist festivals. Old school, new school, either way, we'll school ya. Hitting so hard, you'll yodel through your nose. We're mud mucking dirt devils, giants charging with thunder sticks, the guys who speak in national championship outbursts, and answer to the name of Mr. Boom Boom Bang Bang Bye Bye. You still want in this house? Remember one thing no talk, no walk, no way. Sincerely, the cyber athletes of EA Sports 2000. Hello everyone, I'm James Brown and this is the AFC Conference Championship game. After two Super Bowl wins in a row, the AFC is starting to look very competitive and today we'll see who they'll send to Super Bowl 34. Let's go out to Pat Summerall and John Madden who are standing by to call the game. Welcome to the AFC Conference Championship game. Yours truly James Brown here and you can expect this to be a real slugfest today with a trip to Super Bowl 34 on the line. Let's head on out to the stadium and Pat and John. Hello everyone, I'm James Brown. Welcome to the divisional round of the NFL playoffs. The right to contend for the conference championship goes to the winner of today's games, so they're sure to be exciting. Let's get right to the stadium with Pat and John. 
Hello and welcome to the EA Sports Studios. I'm James Brown. It's the divisional round and always a very tough game for the visiting team. Not only do their opponents have the home field advantage, but they've had an extra week's rest as well. Let's go out to John Madden and Pat Summerall who will call the action. Hello everyone and welcome to the NFC Conference Championship game. I'm James Brown. A trip to Atlanta awaits the winner of today's game and a trip to the showers awaits the loser. Who will the NFC send to Super Bowl 34? Let's go out to Pat Summerall and John Madden to find out. Hello, James Brown here in the EA Sports Studios. This is the NFC Conference Championship game. The George Hallis Trophy is at stake today and even more importantly, the chance to represent the NFC in Super Bowl 34. Let's go out to Pat and John for today's great matchup. Hello everyone, I'm James Brown and welcome to the EA Sports Studio for another exciting season of NFL football. With instant replay making a comeback and a lot of new faces in the NFL, it promises to be a very interesting year. Let's go out to John Madden and Pat Summerall who are ready to call the first game. 